a blessed day and welcome. This morning we'll be meditating on the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 1 and verse 5. Now the end of the commandment is charity out of a pure heart and of a good conscience and of faith unfringed. In the first chapter of 1 Timothy, the Apostle Paul explains why false teachers must be opposed while identifying the difference between them and genuine servants of God. While false teachers are being motivated by self-obsession, those who serve God sincerely are motivated by Christian love. The most important lesson we learn today is that the goal of Christian life is not hate or controversy, but a particular kind of love which is known in Greek as agape, meaning selfless, sacrificial, sincere love that reflects the very nature of God himself. Agape love goes beyond mere affection or emotion. It is a deliberate choice to seek the highest good of others, regardless of circumstances or personal cost. Jesus Christ exemplified agape love perfectly through his sacrificial death on the cross for humanity, demonstrating God's immense love and grace toward us. William Gladstone, in announcing the death of Princess Alice to the House of Commons, told a touching story. The little daughter of the princess was seriously ill with diphtheria. The doctors told the princess not to kiss her little daughter and endanger her life by breathing the child's breath. Once when the child was struggling to breathe, the mother, forgetting herself entirely, took the little one into her arms to keep her from choking to death. Rasping and struggling for her life, the child said, Mama, kiss me. Without thinking of herself, the mother tenderly kissed her daughter. She got diphtheria. And some days thereafter, she went to be forever with the Lord. Real love forgets itself. Real love knows no danger. Real love doesn't count the cost. The Bible says, Many waters cannot quench love. Neither can the floods drown it. As Christians, our journey of faith centers on growing in this divine love. Loving God wholeheartedly and loving our neighbors as ourselves. This love is transformative, shaping our attitudes, actions and relationships. It compels us to forgive, reconcile and serve others compassionately, mirroring Christ's love in a broken world. Agape love is inclusive, reaching out to the marginalized, the hurting and the lost, embodying God's desire for all people to experience His unconditional love and redemption. Ultimately, the goal of Christian life is to increasingly reflect and share agape love, becoming instruments of God's grace and agents of His kingdom on earth. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, help us to grow in agape love, reflecting your selfless and unconditional grace in all we do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shalom. Maranatha.